take a short little video. I'm just turning around from, uh, you can just barely see those few trees down the center there. They have no leaves on them. Those are oaks. They're on that grassy knoll. I'm just starting to head back. I do a little zigzagging up and over. Uh, the ridge is not uh, extremely continuous. There are places where it goes down and you have to go back up again. Da -da 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 -da. Probably about I think about four miles from here before I hit uh, like a real trail. Jeff and I, we cleared You know, if you know anything about the way that um, trails work in the wilderness, once the tread gets established because of, you know, heavy traffic, um, you can go for literally 10 years without any traffic on it and it still has a tread. And that's the condition that this was in when we got to it last year. And um, then we opened it up, though. And you can see a lot of our handiwork. Uh, I will admit the last bit here is a little bit um, rough because uh, we got a little... Um, It was just a little much. We, I think we did three trips. Whoa. We did three trips where we spent the entire day cutting. Oh my God, it was a lot of work. It was four miles to here. And we, well, maybe the first mile I had done the previous year myself. Anyway. Now it's opened up. Now you can see like the the very furthest limits of the grassy area right there. It goes all the way down. Uh, you can't probably see it on the camera, but there's some power lines that go through here. Cut through the Santa Lucia Mountains. And there's a road down there. Last year when Jeff and I went down there, because we did a big trip where we went down to um, the creek. We took and we then went all the way over back down to Big Falls and went all the way up and over the mountain again in one day. And when we went down there, oh man, that was a big trip. And when we went down there, that road that's down there, I can see it now. But you could not see it before because uh, it had just, they had not done anything at all to upkeep it and it's a dirt road in an area where there's a lot of grass and so the grass just just developed over the road well now they bulldozed it open they because there's a road over here there's private property actually we're on private property right now um but it's kind of weird. It's like it's private property, but it's part of the wilderness. It's actually in the wilderness. So, and this trail here is actually a right of way. So I'm not trespassing per se. Actually, I wouldn't even be trespassing going down that road because it's part of the system. But anyway, long story short, they now have that thing bulldozed. I didn't, that was like, kind of ruined it for me because I wanted to go walk a little bit more down that area and get some really good shots that make it look like you know just plain wilderness I mean it is a plain wilderness they didn't do anything to that road for like I swear to God I'm not not joking at least 20 years there was a place there where there was 20 year old trees in the middle of it when Jeff and I went down and there was whole sections of it where there was trees and bush 
so thick that you couldn't even get through. So I kind of think though that due to the recent fires that we've had, I think they want to, their concern is they want to make sure that they can get emergency vehicles all the way through. And since that power line there um, needs to be maintained probably, I don't know how often, but they need to get access to it. So anyway, can you tell that this is a trail? Because um, I'm not sure if that would be conveyed through the camera eye. But it is kind of bushwhacky. As you can tell, I've got to go through some of the bushes here. I admit it, this part here is a little rough. We took, oops. <laughs> we took a few shortcuts because we were at the very end there. I mean, when you like, when you're like, you could see the end. You're like, oh, fuck it. Let's just go. Excuse my French. I usually don't speak French. I usually speak English. Oh, oh, got my leg. Okay. So that's the little video I'm doing here. I just want you to know what it's like to experience some of the things that I do. And I don't normally take any kind of videos because I need both hands. And actually I need both hands now because uh, I need to balance. I need my other hand that's holding the phone to balance going through these areas like this where there's some side sloping and I gotta yeah anyway this is one of those areas where the ridge kind of disappears and goes down 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 and then you have to go back up 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 there's a lot of them it's a big workout but I think that's the roughest spot right there and as soon as we get down to this little gully I think from this point forward it's a much easier uh, trail because that's where we did most of our work. Excuse me. Wow, it's windy here. Woo! Oh, I almost fell off. Bushies. Oh, better cut those down next this next time. I was gonna bring some uh, nippers. Like that. They have thorns. Can you see? Yeah. They don't feel so good on your legs. Right, I think it's this way. Some of my flags are disappeared. Flag this place. Where is it? Okay, I think it's over here. Oh man, this is that poison oak. Ah. Okay, seriously. There's like a solid poison oak section here. I need both hands, so this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You see, whee, all that talking. I went completely around the top of that. And now, now I gotta go up this. Hoy. This was not fun going down. So, here we go. Talk to you later.